In this video, guys, we are going to break down bleeding control, specifically controlling a bleed on someone's head. Anna's our patient. Diane's our EMT. Anna, you have a lack, a laceration on a temple. Like, yeah, that's good. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Great acting. And Diane is going to specify, how do we differentiate gauze from bandage? So gauze is typically, it's un, you don't wrap it, up, it's not unwrappable. So this bandage is mostly, comes in like a larger bulk that you would unwrap. Yeah, so we're going to use gauze to control the bleeding, and we're going to use bandage to wrap the gauze once the bleeding is controlled. If bleeding is still uncontrolled, we're going to pack more gauze on top of the um, laceration. Once it's controlled, we can utilize the bandage um, to do so. Um, so go ahead and apply. Anna, we're going we're gonna to control that bleed, so Diane's going to apply a gauze and then start rolling so I'm gonna the gauze off. It. And I love how... Diane is rolling off of the roll. It's just, it's more natural to do that. And the first go around, we really just want to secure the piece of gauze to Anna's head. And I like how Diane is kind of pulling the roll tight. We want to apply, maintain that pressure onto that site. And you can roll it a couple times to create an even tighter um, pressure. And then Diane's going to go under Anna's head back of the head and then come back around. The goal, guys, is to make a figure eight with the roll. And then come under the chin occasionally. So come back down through, through the ear and then come under and then go over. And then come back from the behind. And then come back up. And then come back over her ear and then down behind her head. And then when you're coming down to the last parts of the roll, you just want to tuck it in. You just want to tuck it in um, into some place in the roll. So here I'm just going to tuck it on the hip. Yeah. And then we're going to assess for PMS before and after on all four extremities. So pulse. And I'll ask her, on both you, both sides. And I'll ask her if she could squeeze my fingers. She can squeeze. And then I'm going to see if she has sensation. On okay. And how do we test for? You did motor, right? So PMS. Yeah. And now do the bottom. And then I'm going to check if there's a pedal pulse. Pedal pulses are present. How do we check for motor? You're going to check. Can you flex against my hands? And then on the bottom. And then I'm going to check. Is it, do you feel these? Yes. Okay. okay. So PMS is present in all four extremities. Um, bleeding should be controlled by now, and uh, see you in the next video.